there. This is the 3.75 month development log update. If you've been following my channel, you would know that I some months ago decided to create a 3D game completely from scratch. I decided that besides being a standard Doom slash Quake clone, it should have some physics. Then someday I was watching this interview with this really smart guy called John Carmack, where him and John Romero talked about the key to developing a good game was being able to do fast iterations. That basically meant creating some tools. Deep down I knew I needed to create a level editor. But how do you go from a game to something that has a level editor? Well, you need something that is scalable, and that means refactoring. After spending ages on refactoring the code base, I realized that I also needed a UI. Along the path to that UI, someone on the stream decided that I had to use Comic Sense as the font for the UI. And since I'm a weak ass person who only does what people tell me to do, I decided to implement it. Needless to say, the UI freaking sucked. And as I implemented new elements, it became increasingly convoluted. After some time, I remembered that a really smart guy called Omar did something really amazing called Dear I'm Gooey. I suddenly had the revelation that I wanted to be smart like Omar. So I did even more refactoring. The end result was my own version of something way more robust than previously. Then to build a level editor, we need something called levels. And that meant even more refactoring. And then you slap it all together and suddenly you have a level editor. And yeah, I got rid of that stupid font. This only ended up costing me around one and a half months of my spare time. All jokes aside, I think that the latest version of the level editor turned out quite nicely and I also like the UI implementation way better now than before. Soon I'll be moving on to different topics, which includes some graphics programming, a smaller amount of work on the physics engine, and lastly some gameplay mechanics. If you ever find yourself curious, feel free to drop by my live streams, since I do most of the work live here on YouTube. And lastly, if you found any of this helpful, inspirational or just entertaining, then please consider liking or subscribing, or even supporting the channel in whatever you see fit. Anyway, I hope to see you around here on the channel. Bye bye and take care.